بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد As Muslims it's very important for us to work on the content of our character to work on our mannerisms and especially for those who have entered the fold of Islam as new Muslims that often we maintain some uh, aspects of our previous characteristics and that's not to say that everything we did was bad but this is important for us to remove those things which contradict Islam that's the important thing so it's not that uh, many people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored with good manners and characteristics who are non-Muslim or uh, people who are Muslim now but even before they had good characteristics of shyness of being kind to other people and sharing and loving and, and all of those other uh, praiseworthy characteristics so as uh, believers and especially those newly entering the fold of Islam we should strive to perfect our character and this I'm emphasizing especially for new Muslims but also any Muslim and any person in fact that the way you treat others is reflective of what's inside of your heart and it is also the way in which you will be uh, as they say do unto others as you wish for them to do unto you so if you want others to treat you with respect and kindness and in a loving manner then of course you have to illustrate those characteristics and that conduct yourself manners and the way in which we treat others is incredibly important in Islam and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam illustrated the best of manners and manners involves every kind or every way of righteousness and of goodness and a way of spreading good every every way in which righteousness can be spread this is a part of mannerisms or adab and this term adab in Arabic has a very vast meaning and the scholars of the language the Arabic language and many of the uh, Muslim scholars as well have defined it in various uh, ways and what's important for us is to realize the most inclusive uh, meaning that they use which was that the adab or manners is an all-inclusive way of how a person uh, reflects good in its various forms through their deeds through their actions through their speech and so forth and the scholars mention for example Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned that adab has three different types three different types of adab or, or manners you could say he says adab ma Allah azza wa jal firstly is the manners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second type of adab is the adab ma rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa shar'ihi and the second type of ways we reflect this good conduct is in our manners with the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sharia and his his uh, legislation and his life and the way he he uh, and his statements and the third type of adab is the adab ma khalqihi 
meaning the manners with the rest of creation on, on how we deal with one another. So again, it's of three types. The first is our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and earth. Do we worship him and him alone? Do we direct all of our worship strictly to him, with sincerity to him, seeking his pleasure alone, removing ourselves from any and all forms of polytheism? And the second level is with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the way in which we have uh, adab with the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not in the way first we'll mention the negation of that and is what we see with the people protesting and exhibiting violent conduct with regards to uh, protesting the individual or individuals who belittled the Prophet وسلم, by speaking evil of him and making the video and, and characterizing him in a very evil and wicked way. This is something we're not pleased with. However, if we want to have good manners in accordance with Islamic law, in accordance with the Sharia, in accordance with what pleases Allah, then it isn't through protesting, it isn't through burning embassies, and it isn't through uh, violent behavior. But rather, it's by even being more strict in following the sunnah or the way of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, being even more adherent to the way he lived his life Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by following his example by worshipping Allah and Allah alone because he was the most fearful slave of Allah he worshipped God and God alone he didn't worship uh, rocks he didn't worship trees he didn't worship other prophets alayhim after salatu wasalam nor did he worship the angels but instead he directed all of his worship all of his reflection and meditation upon the Lord, the creator of the heavens and earth, the one who created everything and created you and I. So if we want to have good manners and we want to perfect our conduct, it is by following his example, not by following the example of those people who, uh, who illustrate and express themselves through violent means. But rather it's by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the third type of ways in which we exhibit uh, and we perfect our manners as Ibn al-Qayyim said it's how we deal with one another it's the manners with the uh, creation meaning how we uh, how we treat our parents how we treat our children how we treat one another uh, in the marketplace how do we buy and sell do we cheat people do we steal from people do we uh, are we uh, in uh, have good conduct with our spouses? All of these things are ways in which we exhibit righteous conduct. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ma min shayin athkulu fi mizan mu'min yom al qiyama min husn al khulq, when Allah yubdidu al fahsh al bidi." He said, "There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scales of a believer." than good manners. And verily Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. And when describing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, one of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she said that his manners was the Qur'an. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his manners were the Qur'an. So if you wanted to know how the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was and how to follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then reading the Qur'an, studying the Qur'an, studying the explanations of the Qur'an and trying to emulate the behavior that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has prescribed for us throughout the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْهِنْ And worship Allah and do not associate partners with Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
وبال وبالوالد وبالوالدين إحسانا that to our parents have uh, be good in conduct and be obedient to your parents this is the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so those people who wish to follow his example in mannerisms this is their their path this is what they should strive to strive to uh, the person they should strive to emulate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لَكَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رُسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوَ اللَّهُ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرَ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهُ كَثِيرًا Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an He said, and for you is, uh, and, and, and for you is the best examples best of examples with the Messenger of Allah for those people so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes uh, specifies in this verse he said for those who wish to meet Allah on the day of judgment and remember Allah kathira reflect upon Allah much often how do we remember Allah by praising him by mentioning his name by mentioning his divine attributes and characteristics he is the most merciful he is the most beneficent he is the all-seeing and the all-hearing he's the only one worthy of worship he is the planner he is the sustainer he is the creator of the heavens and earth he is our razak the provider by mentioning and he is gofor uh, wudud he is the most compassionate and the most loving by reflecting upon those attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is how we remember him by mentioning and praising him and by following the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is how we come closer to him and and it shows that this is for those who want to meet Allah on the day of judgment who want to see their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who want to uh, be of those people who are successful kad aflaha al mu'minun uh, the verily the believers are successful who want to be of those people who are successful in this life as well as the hereafter then we have to have good manners we have to have good manners first and foremost with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshipping him and him, him alone not worth worshipping those things which are worshipped besides him meaning for example the uh, anything worshipped besides Allah whether it be prophets like Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam whether it be the prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam whether it be Moses whether it be Abraham whether it be Adam the father of all of us alayhi salatu wasalam that's impermissible we cannot worship created things or created beings nor can we worship the angels so if you want good uh, adab ma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's worshipping him and him alone directing all your worship to him and him alone and if you want good manners with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then it is following his sunnah following his statements following his actions and deeds inwardly and outwardly and if you want good manners with the people then I think this is well known that we treat one another we treat our guests with respect we treat our parents and we are uh, with the utmost respect and we are the most obedient to our parents in that which is good good and righteous and we treat uh, other people the people we know and the people we don't know with respect we give them the benefit of the doubt and we try to be respectful to the creation and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam